Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let us talk about Africa and ban Africanism. And when we are talking about Africa and ban Africanism, we are also going to have references about our colonial masters and how they actually influenced us and how they made Africa to be segregated, how they made boundaries in Africa, which are actually making us not to move freely from one corner of Africa to the other corner of Africa. So today we are going actually to talk about Africa. We are going to talk about transformation in Africa. We are going to talk about the new crop of leaders who are actually championing Pan-Africanism. And we are going to talk about how we should shun new colonialism. But before we do all that, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. And I request you kindly, always, whenever you come across our video or our videos, make sure you subscribe, you hit the notification bell, and share our videos to your friends so that they can also get the message and we can build a bigger community. So let us talk about Africa and Pan-Africanism. Africans, we are one people. We have originated from the same origin. But when it came at the colonial time, Africa was actually being captured by the Western. And each country from the Western wanted to have it's peace in Africa. And that's why you will find that various parts of Africa have actually been colonized by different countries from the Western side. Because you will find that there is part of Africa which was colonized by France. There is that part of Africa which was colonized by Britain. There is other parts which actually you will find that their colonial masters are even presently there. Even if we say that South Africa was the last country in Africa to receive its independence. So Africa was made to have boundaries was actually divided into small countries. And currently, we are having about 54 countries in Africa. And that is unfortunate because we are, going, we are supposed to have one country called Africa. Because of that kind of subdivision, in Africa, you will find that if you need a visa to move from one country to the other, you need to change the visa now and again. And that's why it is quite difficult for an African to move from one part of Africa to the other part of Africa. Unlike when our colonizer come to Africa, they enter to Africa freely. So that's actually what we should know about how our colonial masters divided us. And that's why they are still ruling us up to today. But there is a good thing about Africa. We have a new crop of African leaders 
who want to break that bigger chain of coronial who made Africa to be in boundaries. We want to break those boundaries. We want to trade as African people. So this crop of leadership is the crop of individuals who we actually are looking upon. Like President William Samuruto is a leader who has actually been likened the Mohammed Gaddafi. He wants Africa to be open. He wants to break that yoke of having boundaries so that we can trade freely in Africa and we can end up uniting Africa as a bigger, larger country. So that is the crop we are looking up to. We have people like Kagame who can say what they feel without fear and any contradiction. Even we have president like the president of Uganda, Kagutam Seven, is another leader who can stand up and tell the West enough is enough. We have the president of South Africa, Ramaphosa, is also another leader who is showing that we have a bright future in Africa. So Africa must raise. Africans must unite. So there is a call that we should have one army. We should have one currency. And we should, we should break the yoke of borders so that Africa, we can be borderless. And if we do that, then Africa will be very great. We will damage the dominancy of the dollar because if we unite Africa, it means that we are going to deal with our resources in a way that will benefit us. Because if you look at what is happening in Niger, where France has been taking uranium from that country nearly for free without developing the people of Niger. So the people of Niger are in or languishing in great poverty, but the country is very rich in uranium. It is actually running the economy of France because Niger actually supplies France uranium, which is actually used to produce nuclear power, which is running the economy of France. But yet, if you go to Niger, you will find that the people of Niger, they don't have anything which we call light. They don't have anything which we call electricity. They are languishing in great poverty. Until you wonder, people who are rich with that resources, why should they be poor? So we must have one call to unite Africa, to have one currency, to have one country, to have one army. I don't know what's your take. Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up, share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then you requested them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. So for that, let us always inspire the Africans so that we can have one Africa. And with that, I say thank you until we meet in our next conversation. Thank you.